Ladies and gentlemen, it's my very great pleasure as Dean of the Auckland Law School to welcome you to the 2017 Law Student Awards. This evening we'll celebrate our best and our brightest, our students who have excelled over the past 12 months. We'll recognise our student leaders, we'll congratulate the students who have won our competitions and have represented the Auckland Law School nationally and internationally. We will mark the achievements of our students who have won prizes and scholarships. What they all have in common is hard work, commitment, perseverance, interest and enthusiasm for the law. I'd like to welcome all the students here tonight who are receiving awards. You've done well and the members of the faculty here tonight join me in congratulating you on your achievements. I'd like to welcome family members and close friends of our students who are able to be here this evening. Our students wouldn't have achieved their success without your support, your encouragement and your love. You can be very proud of all they've achieved and in knowing that you've helped make their success possible. I'd like to welcome many of the individuals and representatives of firms and organisations who've donated prizes and scholarships for our best students, who've supported our student societies and the events and competitions they organise and who have given financial assistance to the law school and to what we seek to achieve. We are immensely grateful. Prizes, the scholarships and the donations you provide mean a lot to our students. They recognise their hard work, the hours spent in libraries, staying up late before exams, seeking to master particular cases, legal principles and whole areas of the law. This is a very successful law school nationally and internationally. We're very proud of our students and we're very grateful for the support that many of you here tonight have given us. I'd like to welcome the members of the legal profession and the judiciary who are also here tonight. We're very grateful for the support you also provide to us, not only in financial terms, but also by helping and mentoring our students, adjudicating moots and competitions, and supporting student and faculty activities. The format of tonight's awards ceremony is that um, the awards will be presented in groups, so I will invite um, the groups in the order that they are in the programme uh, on your tables. So I'll invite each group to come forward and together um, here on the left-hand side of the stage. And so if that you could gather in the order that you are mentioned in the programme, and when I call your name, if you then come forward to the stage, the steps are just here, so if you come forward, shake my hand, and then if you proceed to the Deputy Dean, uh, she will give you your certificate, um, and I suppose that's the moment at which um, audience members can congratulate you as you come forward. But once you have received your certificate, if you could then move to the other side of the stage, because at the end of each group presentation, uh, there will be a brief moment when we will uh, take a photograph of the group uh, as a whole, uh, and that, I suppose, will be another chance just to congratulate um, that particular set of students uh, for what they have achieved. So I'm sure we'll all get the hang of it uh, once the first group of students um, uh, start the process. And so I'd invite at this point uh, those who are mentioned as student leaders in the programme, if you could come forward and in the order of the programme assemble uh, just here uh, to my right or to the left of the stage. And if I, as they are doing so, so if they could come forward now, as they're doing so, I'll just mention uh, the organisations, the student societies that they represent. The Auckland University Law Student Society is one of the most active and successful law student societies in the country. It organises a wide range of competitions, seminars, workshops, sports and drink social events um, for the students. <laughs> Taraka Turi is um, our society which provides um, support and community for our Maori law students. So it's very important for our new Maori law students to feel welcome and feel that there are senior students they can talk to and be mentored by. And one example of this is the annual haranga uh, that our Maori law students organise uh, to go and speak at schools in rural areas of New Zealand um, about the merits of coming to university and studying law. The Pacific Island Law Students Association similarly provides community and support for Pacific Island students 
and just recently uh, has had their first um, event for the year where over 70 of their members uh, took part in their um, start of year camp. Rainbow Law is the society established to provide community and support for our lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender students. The Equal Justice Project over many years has involved hundreds of our students in providing free legal assistance for people and organisations who would not otherwise receive access to the law in partnership with community groups and the legal profession. The Auckland University Law Review is an entirely student-run, high-quality legal journal and that involves uh, the editors-in-chief are responsible for ensuring that a very large team of students do all the reading, editing and publishing of that journal to a very high standard. The Law Review, not to be mentioned with the Auckland University Law Review, the Law Review um, it involves a large number of students taking to the stage each year to sing, dance, satire and otherwise lampoon various aspects of the law uh, and the legal profession. I think uh, one year recently one of their video clips received I think about five million downloads, uh, somewhat more um, probably impact uh, in terms of people uh, seeing uh, what they did than many of the articles um, that our academics publish. The Mooting Society was established several years ago to promote and advance uh, mooting competitions and learning about mooting uh, in the law school and has over 700 members, uh, of, so, so very many of our students take part in their activities and we'll see later uh, the successes uh, that have been achieved uh, in many ways partly as a result. Could we first um, thank and congratulate this year's student president, Jason Ahn. The Educational Vice Presidents, firstly, Liddy Buckley. And Liddy, um, by the look of it, can't be with us or has um, gone to the wrong venue. Linda Lim. Uh, both of them, well, at least um, hopefully they are together doing something to advance the cause of education in the law school. The Turaka Turi Ko uh, if we first could um, thank two, there are two co-presidents of Turaka Turi, the Maori Law Students Association, Alex Greaves. Thanks again for the and also Kimberly Murray. This is proving a distressing feature of our student leaders. They're so busy um, working uh, on student causes they forgot to give their apologies, but we shall um, punish them later. If we come on to the Pacific Island Law Students Association, uh, we have our co-president, Robin Lesatali. This is a bit like an Oscar's gone dramatically wrong, but... Um, <laughs> Hopefully we won't present the wrong awards to anyone. So with a certain measure of um, hope in my voice, I will call upon Rainbow Law Directors Alex Cranston. <laughs> and John Kingy. Equal Justice Project Director Jade McGrath. Law Review Editor Kayleigh Ansell. And the Singing and Dancing Law Review, we have Directors Tom Blackwell. Paige Coulter. And Robbie Hines. And Mooting Society President James Penn. Thanks again for your
You'll see that the photographs after each group uh, give you the opportunity, a subtle opportunity, to replenish the food and drink, uh, or at least to partake of more of the food and drink in front of you. We now come to the competition winners and representatives, and I'd ask if the winners of the Auckland Law School competitions uh, would come up to the stage. Um, so that's everyone who uh, has won a law school competition, but not including uh, the international competition representatives who will be the next group. So up until the Ministry of Justice sentencing competition. And I suppose what these awards are doing is they're recognising the fact that every year we have very large numbers of our students compete in all sorts of competitions which help them learn and develop the sort of skills that be really valuable as lawyers. So they take part in witness examination, negotiation, client interviewing and mooting competitions. I, I should mention that a moot is effectively a mock court case on a point of law. So in some ways it's the closest experience to appearing in a court um, to argue a legal issue. And that's why we have quite a number of mooting competitions in the law school. I would like to thank the law firms who sponsor these competitions and support the costs of our sending the winners of them to represent the law school in New Zealand and Australian competitions. First up, if we congratulate the winners of the Buddle Findlay Senior Negotiation Competition, firstly Michael Greenup. I think you're up a number of times for that one. And also Honor Carey. I think you come up again as well. The Buddle Finley Junior Negotiation Competition winners, Seamus Barnett. And Bryce Robertson. The winner of the Russell McVeigh Senior Client Interviewing Competition, James Penn. Winners of the Russell McVeigh Junior Client Interviewing Competition, Caitlin Anion Peters. And Sam Brebner. Winner of the Minter Allison Rudd Watts Witness Examination Competition, Antonio Bradley. <laughs> Winners of the Brian Schenken Family Law Memorial Moot, firstly Nicola Davies. And I think already on the stage, but back for a second certificate, um, James Penn. <laughs> <laughs> and the winners of the Kylie Thompson Kaisley Employment Law Moot, Darren Gunasakara. <laughs> and Anthony Kemphorst. The winner of the Gina, Gina Rudlin Memorial Prize, uh, which is a competition on Maori legal issues, so the top mooter in that competition, Cameron Jacob Sawyer. And the winners of the Pacific Lawyers Association Prize uh, for, a moot, for the mooting competition on Pacific legal issues, uh, firstly, Jessica Matheson. And also Grant Delisle. <laughs> Winners of the junior mooting competition, Michael Greatrix. <laughs> and Lisa Dick. And uh, we established um, several years ago, and the Mooting Society were instrumental in establishing this competition, but the, um, uh, we also had a lot of contributions, particularly from the class of 1970, towards the John Hay QC Memorial Mooting Competition. This is for intermediate level mooting, uh, and the winner of that is Thomas Leggett. 
The winner of the Meredith Connell Greg Everard Memorial Prize for Mooting uh, may already be on the stage, Michael Greenup. <laughs> And the top competition uh, for mooting, the um, most senior competition for mooting, is the Stout Shield, uh, which is part of the Bell Gully New Zealand Senior Mooting Competition. The winner of that competition, and also the Gary Davis Memorial Prize for the top mooter in the competition, Tian Nelson. Congratulations, Tian. The winners of the KPMG case competition, Alexandra Finucane. Congratulations, well done. Mika Hillsmith. Congratulations, well Thank done. You. Charlie Ling. Well done, Charlie. Congratulations. And Bernard Vella. And finally, in this set of awards, the winner of the sentencing competition run by the Ministry of Justice, Carl Simonson. Congratulations, Carl. If I could ask the students who have represented the Auckland Law School in international competitions to assemble on the side of the stage, and I know that um, some of them will have already been up because of having won Auckland Law School competitions, uh, but again, obviously, uh, those who take the next step forward and get to represent Auckland, or indeed in some cases New Zealand internationally, have done incredibly well. New, uh, the Auckland Law School, again last year, um, our team that won, our, our team that was selected on the basis of our mooting competitions to represent us in the New Zealand mooting competitions won that competition. And I suppose it's worth noting that that was the ninth time in the last ten years that Auckland has won the national mooting competition. So I think it is a, a sign of the strength of our students and of our competitions programs. I'd like to acknowledge the help and assistance given by many practitioners, judges, and mediators in. Uh, judging and giving tips um, to our teams as they prefer uh, to go and compete internationally. The first team I'd like to recognise is the Red Cross Asia Pacific International Humanitarian Law Moot team. So this was a team uh, that firstly had to compete against all of the other New Zealand law schools and won uh, the humanitarian law mooting competition in New Zealand and then went to Hong Kong where that team competed against uh, 23 other teams uh, from around the Asia Pacific region and going into at the end of the preliminary rounds were ranked second of the 24 teams competing. They did extremely well. They were ranked as having had the best um, prosecution memorial. The memorial is the written application uh, and they also uh, the team uh, one of the team members Hannah Reed uh, was ranked as the best speaker in the competition. 
So if we congratulate our representatives in that. Um, <laughs> Our representatives in that competition, firstly, Joy Gore, <coughs> Hannah Reid, <laughs> really well done, Hannah, that was fair. <laughs> Tia Tui Buri Levu, congratulations, Tia, that was absolutely superb. And the coach of the team, Trussa Dunworth. <laughs> and sometimes people say that Mutin is overly dominated by men, and it was great to see this result was achieved by um, an all-woman team. We, the next team that um, took part was it, the, our team that represented Auckland in the Australia and New Zealand Air Law Moot competition. Uh, and aviation law has been a subject we've developed recently at Auckland with the support of Air New Zealand and it's been absolutely superb to see uh, how well some of our students have done in air law MOOC competitions. This year, or last year I should say, they won uh, the Australia New Zealand air law competition beating the University of Queensland in the final. Uh, so if we could congratulate again, uh, I suppose a mainstay of that team, Hannah Reid. <coughs> Carl Simonson. Really well done, Carl, again. <laughs> and the coaches, Michael Grenup. Well done, Michael. <laughs> and Nick Porter. I look forward to catch you up on that yeah. later. Right. And the other two uh, competitions we were represented in. Uh, recently, uh, and this was only I think about a month and a half ago, we sent a team to um, the, actually I've got three more, three more teams to mention, but back in February we sent a team to the International Commercial Chamber, the International Chamber of Commerce's International Commercial Mediation Competition. And this is an immense event, it involves um, hundreds of mediators from around the world, it involves 65 university teams from, from more than 30 countries. Uh, and our team this year reached uh, the semi-finals. Uh, they were ranked third equal in the world and only just missed advancing to the final. Can we congratulate first Antonio Bradley? Yes, I didn't say to the <laughs> Sam Brothers. Well done again, Sam. <laughs> Caroline Coates. Doing really well done, Caroline. <laughs> And their coach, Anna Leonard. Really well done again, Anna. <laughs> Just a few weeks ago, we had the team return from the Philip Jessup International Law MOOC competition. This competition is held in Washington, D.C. Uh, each year and is regarded as one of the most prestigious mooting competitions in the world. There were around 630 competitors um, at the event in Washington, and our team did impressively well. They, um, they had taken part actually in a pre-mooting competition, uh, and this was held for a number of the teams that were going to be in Washington. They won the European pre-moot competition held in Budapest. At the Jessup competition in Washington, they were placed second for the applicant memorial, so that was out of all the teams that took part. Um, they were ranked second in the world for the quality um, of the applicant memorials. They were ranked um, the best applicant team when you combine the applicant memorials and the speaker scores. And one of the team members, Michael Grenup, was ranked the third best speaker in the world. And another of the team members, who unfortunately can't be here tonight, Andrew Grant, was ranked the best speaker in the world at the Jessup competition. So quite extraordinary and outstanding results. If we congratulate all of the team members, firstly, Catherine Eichelbaum. <coughs> Michael Grenup. <laughs> Tia Nelson. And the coaches, Jack Davies. 
<laughs> and Greta Schumacher. And as you can see, I think there's really been um, superb results by our mooting competitors. We also sent a team to the William Viss commercial arbitration moot. This is the largest mooting competition in the world. It's held annually in Vienna. Had around um, 350 teams competing this year. The team competed in a number of pre-mooting competitions and were first in the Paris pre-mooting competition and runners-up in the Heidelberg competition. I would like to particularly thank Bankside Chambers uh, for sponsoring uh, the team's participation uh, and the uh, support that Sir David Williams, uh, who's here present, one of our alumni who's been instrumental in Bankside Chambers' support, uh, has given. Could we congratulate Honor Kerry? Really well done, Honor. <laughs> Michael Schmoll. I look forward to seeing the team and cheering out you. And Coach Tom Clark. <laughs> Tom works in a law firm, so I dare say they haven't let him escape. Um, but again, I think they've had such impressive results that if we again congratulate all of our international competition representatives. Would the winners of the new entrant prizes um, come to the left-hand side of the stage? The winners of the new entrant prizes receive a $100 book token, but perhaps um, more importantly, they are recognised as among our very best school leavers who have joined the Auckland Law School. These are very competitive awards, awarded uh, to students leaving school from throughout the country. And I suppose it's worth noting that every year we have up to about 1,500 students who uh, take part, who are enrolled in, in first year law, uh, but we only award 19 new entrant prizes and we're awarding a further nine new entrant scholarships. So as you can imagine, to be one of the 19 singled out for one of these prizes means that we have uh, high hopes of these students going forward. Uh, if we first congratulate Nicholas Allen. <laughs> Rosalie Ketterson. Well done, Rosalie. Sinead Choi. Congratulations. Well done. Natasha De Creek. Isabel Douglas. Aisha Goal. How are you finding your safety? Yanis Gonzalez. Congratulations. 
Ichan Leo. Are you enjoying your so far? <laughs> Rebecca Lloyd. <laughs> Veronica Manning. Really well done, Veronica. Congratulations. Jaden McNeil. I hope you enjoy your second. <laughs> Siobhan Pike. Congratulations, really well done. Archie Noan Simhoney. I hope I did a thing with that today. Sophie Vreeberg. Congratulations, really well done, Sophie. Sanchita Wes. Thank you for having me, Mr. Selena Wright. Congratulations, Selena. Well done. And would the winners of the uh, new entrance scholarships um, come forward and stand to the left of the stage? The winners um, of the next set of awards um, each receive a $1,000 scholarship. And these are students who have had superb school results. And again, as I mentioned, given that we have um, up to around 1,500 first year law students, uh, that then drops to 380 students at second year law, these really are incredibly high achieving um, students. Uh, if we first can congratulate Noreen Gakushin. And Isabella Graham. Dainuki Karuna Sakira. Gabriella Penn. Really well done. Congratulations. Ella Stephen. Congratulations, Ella. Really well done. Renee Jiang. Congratulations, really well done. And I think you can see that all of our top first year students are uh, given um, the gender makeup. We would hope to see um, many more women judges uh, and law partners emerging as a result in the number of years. <laughs>
before we start on the second half of the program, we always have a tradition at these ceremonies of introducing uh, someone who's contributed a lot to the law school, uh, one of our notable alumni, to say a few words about their experiences that may inspire some of the students today. And I'm very ple uh, pleased uh, that we have one of our most prominent alumni able to do so today. Sir Anand Satchinand uh, is a graduate of the Auckland Law School. He worked as a lawyer. He was appointed a district court judge. He was the Ombudsman of New Zealand for 10 years, during which time he dealt with all manner of complaints, um, difficulties that individual citizens experience and how they're treated by government departments. And then, uh, as you'll all be aware, became Governor General of this country from 2006 to 2011. Sir Anand's career has been one of dedicated and committed public service. We appointed him a distinguished fellow of the Auckland Law School and true to his character of humility, commitment and service, he's been someone who hasn't just taken the title but has lived it, who every month comes and spends time at the law school, who will talk to some of our classes about the role of law with respect to government, administration, uh, who will take part in judging, uh, mooting competitions, um, helping mentor for our Equal Justice Project, and in all sorts of ways uh, is a wonderful presence around the Auckland Law School. I would ask you to welcome this evening Sir Anand Satchinand. Dean Andrew Stockley, thank you for your generously expressed welcome. Uh, Deputy Dean Susan Watson, uh, faculty members present throughout the room, distinguished guests, including judges of many courts, Law Society President, uh, newly elected Joanna Pigeon, those who have presented and who will present uh, for awards this evening, and uh, importantly, your family members, ladies and gentlemen, kia ora, tēnā koutou katoa. My contribution this evening in this narrow slot that the Dean spoke of is in two parts. The first being the speech I spent some little time preparing of an orthodox contribution uh, by a senior legal personality saying things that are expected on occasions such as this. That speech noted the importance of this time, closing off an important phase in your legal education. It acknowledged the commitment of yourselves and your families in seeing things through to this point. The speech asked that you, of course, continue to keep the contact with your law school in the time ahead. And it drew attention to the power of the network uh, that you already have and which we have seen on the stage and the continuing availability of that if you choose to draw down on it. I would then have spoken about the value of the experiences at the university and the law school in particular and in the loyally skills one acquires to comprehend and hopefully solve some of the multi-layered issues that will confront you in our increasingly complex world. I was into writing what used to be called the peroration when I reflected on an aspect of my current reading of two books by a leading United States medical personality, and by his name you'll see he's a person of Indian origin like myself, Atul Gawande, 
who has written Being Mortal and Beta and uh, at least one or two other titles that you see in the better quality uh, bookshops. And the challenge that he presented recently to graduating medical students based on the experience of his lifetime as a surgeon, teacher and consultant. I thought it might be better to frame the five pieces of advice that he gave to the medical students, mutatis mutandis, for lawyers on their journey, law students on their journey, and thus there is a second part of my contribution this evening. The first item is ask an unscripted question. A doctor and a lawyer, in my view, should never lose the ability to ask questions and should never lose the faculty of being inquisitive. Being inquisitive and continuing to ask questions can only lead to trouble in very limited circumstances. Like the senior New Zealand Council appearing in the Privy Council in the late 1960s saying to one of the law lords, do you follow me, my lord? To which the answer came, I follow your argument, if that is what you mean, Mr X. The second item after ask an unscripted question is don't complain. As lawyers and law students, you have acquired skills to identify flaws and mistakes and ways in which these might be resolved. Instead of complaining, it seems good advice to say to you to do something about securing redress beyond just complaining. The third item is count something. This being shorthand for law students and lawyers and people of a legal background to observe and record and in the event of seeing things occur and particularly if they recur then considering what action may be appropriate. The fourth item of advice is to write something. You acquire skills as students of the law and as lawyers in writing, in legal writing. The present time provides opportunities for people of a legal background to write formally in briefs and opinions, in correspondence and pleadings but also, and not unimportantly, in journals and in blogs. Writing and documenting are essential legal skills, and they benefit from continued polishing and improvement. And tonight is an appropriate opportunity to underline that for everyone present. The fifth and final thing is change. The world in front of all of you who are receiving these awards this evening is one where you will, uh, you will come to apply your skills having received your award. There'll be an expectation and you'll have the next step where you will apply your skills in a number of ways. Do not feel hidebound by the choices that you may have made to date. May I say be willing to back yourself and to make change resolutely if that is warranted. So those are the things that I leave uh, in the room with you. 
ask, don't complain, count, write and change. In closing, I would like to quote two people. First, the champion New Zealand motor racing driver, the late Bruce McLaren, who once said, it would be a waste of life to do nothing with one's ability, for life is measured in achievement, not in years alone. And then lastly, the late Steve Jobs, co-founder of Apple, who died in 2011 after a lengthy illness. And he once said, your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living the results of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. And most importantly, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They, that is your heart and intuition, somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary. That seems, to me at least, to be a suitable note on which to end and to wish each of you well. Kia ora, kia kaha. Thank you for your kind attention. Thank you, Sir Anand. Would the winners and recipients of the undergraduate prizes and scholarships uh, up until the Lexus Nexus Prize in Land Law, uh, would you come forward to the stage? After first year law, our students embark upon the core compulsory law subjects, the major areas of law that involve lots of conceptual thinking, contract, torts, public law, crimes, land, equity. They then go on to study elective courses and we're very proud that here at the Auckland Law School we offer the largest number of electives by some distance of any of the law schools in this country. We have scholarships and subject prizes to recognise those who achieve excellence uh, in the different courses that we have. You'll note that quite a number of our subjects have prizes but equally uh, we offer many more subjects so if there's anyone here uh, who feels that uh, they would like to contribute, uh, certainly we're willing to take um, uh, to endow our, our more subject prizes as a result. The first um, scholarship to recognise tonight is the A.G. Davis Scholarship in Law, awarded to Tia, Tia Tui Buri Levu. Congratulations again. <laughs> The A.J. Park Intellectual Property Law Prize is awarded to Sarah Rainsbury. Congratulations, the Baldwin's Law and Information Technology Prize awarded to Shirley Sheng. The Brookfield Lawyers Scholarship for Academic Merit and All-Round Ability and a student who has completed Part 2 Law, awarded to Freddie Fall. <laughs> the Chapman Tripp Scholarship for Iwi Governance, uh, awarded to Taha Rakao Brown. and to Olivia Rapata. The David R. Mummery Memorial Scholarship in Law for Part 2 students, awarded to Isabel Kelly. Thank 
congratulations as well, well done. And to Candy O. Congratulations, Candy, well done. The Davies Sprawl Memorial Prize in Family Law awarded to Nicola Davies. Congratulations again. And to Paul Snaid. Congratulations to you. The Desmond Lewis Memorial Prize in International Law awarded to Tia Nelson. Really well done, Tia. Congratulations. And to Hannah Reid. Very useful for our competitions. The Erica Pebb Scholarship honours the life and vision of a former teacher by supporting students who give back to the community and show commitment to justice for the weakest members of society. This year it was awarded to Ellen Ryan. <laughs> the Hemanga Tai Tai Prize for Academic Achievement and also the winner of the Thomson Reuters Medical Law Prize, Matthew Tumui. The JP Campbell Prize for the best work in any two final year electives awarded to Samuel Johnston. Really well done. Congratulations. The Johnston Foundation Prizes in Company Law, firstly awarded to Callum Burnett. Really well done, Callum. Congratulations. <laughs> And I think already on the stage, also awarded to Tia Nelson. The Judge Avanish Debkata Memorial Prize in Criminal Procedure, awarded to Helen Savage. Congratulations, Helen. <laughs> the Lexus Nexus Prize in Land Law, awarded to Rebecca Scoggins. And if I could ask the other winners of the undergraduate prizes and scholarships to uh, come forward to the front. The first of the awards is the Maritime Law Association of Australia and New Zealand Prize awarded to Augusta Wills. <coughs> the Martin Finlay Memorial Scholarship for a Part Free Student awarded to Jonathan Muliana. The Meltzer Mason Prize in Company Liquidations, awarded to Alexandra Rankin. Really well done. The 
the Meredith Connell Prize in Corporate Finance Law, awarded to Gemma Milicic. The, Minter, <coughs> sorry, the New Zealand Law Review Prizes, these are awards given for the best results in first year law. Firstly, Andrew Coffin. Really well done, Andrew. Congratulations. John Garden. Are you enjoyed second year law? Yes. <laughs> and Isabel Kelly. Really well done, Isabel. Congratulations. The Resolution Institute Dispute Resolution Prize awarded to Catherine Kerr. <laughs> and also to Tunisia Napia. The Richmond Chambers Prize in Jur Jurisprudence Awarded firstly to Shu Jen Ryan Chow. And also to Sebastian Hartley. The Robertson Prize in Insurance Law, awarded to Jack Alexander. The Shortland Chambers Prize in Public Law, awarded to Yana Te. The Simpson Grierson Employment Law Prize, awarded to Anthony Campuist. The Sir Alexander Johnston Scholarship in Law, awarded uh, already on the stage to Sebastian Hartley. Uh, we have a new prize this year, the Staples Rodway Phil Banks Prize in Tax Law, and this is a prize honouring Phil Banks, who was the tax manager at Staples Rodway. He passed away in August of 2015, and we're very pleased tonight to have with us members of his family, including his wife Sandra, his daughter Laura, his brothers Steve and Graham, his niece Fiona, and his partner Trish, and we want to very much acknowledge the contribution uh, that he made to tax law uh, and to Staples Rodway. If we congratulate Tia Nelson. The Thomson Reuters Criminal Law Prize, awarded firstly to Ale Alexia Grindel. Congratulations, Alexia. Well done. Also to Madeline Hay. Well done, Madeline. Congratulations. And to Julia Wiener. Really well done, Julia. Congratulations. The Thomson Reuters Prize for Civil Procedure, awarded to Tracy Kelderman. Really well done, Tracy. And uh, the last of the undergraduate scholarships and prizes, the Thomson Reuters Prize for Torts and Contract, awarded to James Rankin. Really well done, James. Congratulations.
Would the winners and recipients of the postgraduate prizes and scholarships please come to the stage? The Auckland Law School has the largest LLM program in New Zealand. Indeed, we have as many Master of Law students as all of the other New Zealand law schools combined. Uh, so in some ways, I think it's a little bit of a pity, uh, apart from the fact that we'll prolong the ceremony, that we don't have more postgraduate prizes and scholarships. So anyone who would like to assist in this area, uh, you'd be very welcome. Our postgraduate program, I think, is also known for the fact that every year we bring in a range of overseas scholars uh, who come and contribute and who teach on that program. So it's something that uh, makes it, we get a lot of overseas students who, as a result, also come and study on the program. The first of the awards is the Ellen and Virginia Green Prize in Environmental Law uh, that has been awarded to Kristen Jones. The Fouds Memorial Prize for the Top Masters Student uh, and the Gaze Burt Prize for Master of Laws, Sarah Katani. And the Moana Schwelga Memorial Pacifica Student Scholarship, Patricia Fulcox. This one should be a little bit easier to focus on. And would the winners of the Faculty of Law Dean's Academic Excellence Awards um, come to the stage? Not the senior scholars at this stage, but the winners of the Academic Excellence Awards. These are awards that are given at the end of the undergraduate degree, and they're awarded to the top 10% of the graduating class. So given that we graduate just over 300 students a year uh, for the LLB and the LLB Honours degrees, um, these students have obviously done incredibly well to be recognised as the top 10% of what is already a very high achieving cohort because as mentioned, uh, to get through even into second year law, uh, there's an enormous number, far more students who don't get through into second year law than do. So the winners of the Faculty of Law Dean's Academic Excellence Awards, if we firstly congratulate Amir Ansari. Harriet Birch. Dion Chalingai. Jerome De Vries. Selwyn Fraser. Jazz Jet Grewell. Victoria Henderson. <laughs> Natalie Koch. <laughs> Amelia Lamb. Jay Among. Really well Rebecca Morris. <laughs> Jonathan Morton. Congratulations, Jonathan. Well done. Kate Scanlon. Tracy Turner. Really well done, Tracy. Augusta Wills. Really well done, Augusta. <laughs> and Lewis Whitcomb Carhill. Really well done,
And if the recipients of the Senior Scholar Awards uh, could come forward at this point. These are students who have won uh, Faculty of Law Dean's Academic Excellence Awards, but in addition they have also won Senior Scholar Awards. And these are given across the university to the very best students in all faculties. So in the case of law, this meant that we were allocated seven senior scholarships to award to our graduating class of just over 300. So as you can imagine, to be one of the seven scholars uh, singled out for one of these awards is an incredible achievement and one that requires consistent excellence across all subjects. If we could first congratulate Jack Davies. Dennis Dow. Really well done, Dennis. Congratulations. Samuel Johnston. That's a great achievement. Congratulations. Abigail Lawson. Really well done, Abigail. Congratulations. And Maxwell Smith. Really great achievement. Well done. <laughs> And the final award of this evening is given to the top law undergraduate uh, who wins the Auckland District Law Society's prize, which uh, also means, of course, as a winner of the Faculty of Law Dean's Academic Excellence Award and also a Senior Scholar Award, would you congratulate this year's top student, Linda Sullivan. Again, on behalf of all the faculty, can I congratulate all of the students here because, as I said at the outset, the leadership that they show for our student societies and for working for the community and well-being of students in all sorts of different ways, in all sorts of clubs and societies, for the different communities that make up this law school, for the way in which many of our students have competed, uh, have taken part in many hours of preparation and many hours of practices for their competitions and then have excelled so incredibly well both within New Zealand and across the world. And if we've also congratulated obviously those students whose academic work and whose commitment and perseverance and ability to understand aspects of the law again is reflected in the awards that they've received uh, and in the recognition uh, that we give to them tonight as our very best students and as people who will go forward, I'm sure, and will work in the law, but will bring with them, hopefully, uh, what they've gained from this law school, the meanings of hard work, of application, of working for all sectors of the community, and in the very best way to live up to the traditions of this law school and the achievements of its alumni. I'd like to thank all of our alumni here tonight who support us through these awards, but also through the mentoring, through the practical assistance by judging moots competitions, by coming in uh, and giving of their time and energy and passion in so many different ways. And it's no, um, I suppose it's no coincidence that when you've seen that many of the coaches of our teams are in fact recent graduates who have benefited from the programs that we've run, but have then come back, have organised, have put in the hours, taking our teams forward, but bringing in uh, many of the 
older alumni uh, who ha whose work commitments mean they can't put in much, many of the same hours but can come back in with their experience and their expertise to offer assistance at that level. So thank you all for the contributions you make. Uh, and as I said at the start, none of this would be possible without the family support, the support of close friends that has nurtured and supported our students every step of the way. I think there's still a little bit uh, of wine or um, juice, uh, something to drink and eat. Uh, you will have the opportunity, if you want to photograph uh, just with your family, uh, with a prize winner or one of the teams, if you want to photograph together, um, do get hold of the photographer. Um, but otherwise, thank you very much for your support of this law school and have a good evening.